Today I'm making a quilt like you've never seen before. Less measuring, less cutting, less sewing, less of everything, but with the same stunning results. Let's make a stained glass quilt. Stained glass quilts are one of the most beautiful quilts I've ever seen. They look like those windows you see in the big cathedrals like the Notre Dame de Paris. <laughs> because I don't want to waste time sorting through fabric, I'm using pre-cuts. I have these charm packs right here, but you can use any other size. If you want bigger pieces, just get a layer cake and use that. Look at these, how beautiful is this fabric? We need groups of four squares, preferably fabrics that are very different from one another. The next step is to pile them up and cut four in one go. We want to make two cuts, a horizontal and a vertical one, but we do not want to make it straight or parallel. We want a stained glass look where the pieces are a bit all over the place and it's all kind of chaotic, but then when you look at it, it makes total sense and it is absolutely gorgeous. Now that we have split our square into four pieces, we mismatch our pieces to create our stained glass quilt blocks. So far so easy, right? Let's do four more piles. I think 20 quilt blocks will be enough and we are making four at a time. So let's do this like four more times and call it a day. Remember, we want to make sure we're cutting them differently each pile, okay? It is a free flow project and uh, we want chaos. And can I just say, I am loving my pre-cuts more and more. I have to admit, I was a little bit of a pre-cut snob. I believed it wasn't worth spending extra money just to get the fabric already cut, that a proper quilter cuts fabric from scratch. Yeah, I'm over that now. <laughs> Each pre-cut project I do makes me love them more and more. It saves a lot of time and effort and you get a variety of patterns without having to buy yards and yards of fabric. And I always know they'll work well together. So yeah, I am team pre-cut, are you? Now, most quilters are scared of this quilt pattern for a reason. It's the soldiering. You see, in a traditional stained glass quilt, we would now sew some thinnish strips of fabric to join our four pieces together. You know, to act as a copper foil, you have separating the glass pieces. It's a lengthy, detailed process that has kept me from doing a stained glass quilt all this long. But I have found the perfect replacement. But first, we need to sew our stained glass pieces into squares once again. And guys, I know it's looking like a hot mess right now, but this is totally normal, okay? It's the seam allowances and the way we chop the fabric. Don't worry, we will trim all this and press it and it will look absolutely gorgeous. Okay, time to make these blocks pretty again. <laughs> and yes, this looks pretty good as is, but it's not really stained glass, is it? Just a regular scrappy quilt made with pretty gorgeous fabrics. Nothing very special about it. You can leave it as is if that's how you like it or you can't be bothered with what comes next. And if you decide to make the traditional version, just remember to mark your fabric on both sides of your sewing so it's easier to match when you're separating them by the fabric strip. And look at that, guys. Look at how different it is before we trimmed and now after the fact. These are pretty gorgeous. And yes, I'm aware that stained glass quilts usually mean solid or you know slightly patterned fabrics, whereas I went all out with colors and patterns, but uh, I like it this way. I think it's more modern, it's fresher, and uh, I cannot wait to see how this goes. Let's puzzle. And how quick has this been? <laughs> Here's the trick to making an awesome stained glass quilt pattern. The same fabrics don't touch and we make sure the blocks are laid out in different positions. Meaning if this bit right here is on the top corner, for the next one, I'm just going to place it to the side or the bottom. Essentially, they're scattered all over the place. That's how we get this perfect. And once we're happy with our pattern, all we need to do now is to sew all these 20 squares together and make a quilt top. Yeah, I forgot to take the photo again. Uh, who knows, maybe this is even better. I don't know, let's just keep going. <laughs> This is looking gorgeous and it may just be the most gorgeous thing I've ever done, but it isn't quite stained glass yet. There's a little detail missing that is going to make all the difference. But before that, you know, every window needs a frame. So let's do that.
This is what we have and I'm not really sure if this is the thickness of the frame I'm going to go with after everything is complete because now comes my secret weapon, my sidekick. We are going to add our copper foil replacement and this is what I'm going to use. I am telling you, this will save me so much time, so much effort and a lot of frustration. It is fusible bias tape. I got it in black but there are also in silver and gold and all we need to do is to place the tape on our fabric joints covering the seams and then just press. <laughs> you know, for me, this tape has the right width, the right color and the right way to apply it. You know, it just saves me so much time. Yeah, I made a mistake. I am going to have to remove all the frame just because I want to be able to hide the seams of the, the bias tape once I'm done. And I do not have to have to add a whole other one around just for it. So yeah, let's unsew this. And after we apply this tape, you know, we could sew over it to make sure it won't ever move. And an alternative that is quicker than the traditional version that you can make yourself is, of course, creating your own thin bias tape and sewing it onto your quilt top or adding some fusible adhesive and applying it just like I'm doing here. <laughs> now, if your sewing machine supports a tween needle, that's also a great option for attaching a thin bias tape to your stained glass quilt without a lot of hard work. You know, there are many options you can choose from that will make this look absolutely gorgeous. And as you can see, I am choosing to do the smaller pieces first and then covering up those seams with larger pieces. And this is how we go, small to large. And this is the perfect quilt for a beginner or an expert who doesn't have a lot of time on their hands. Plus, uh, I have to say, this is one of the funnest quilts I have ever done. Yeah. Now it's a stained glass quilt and it's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I'm thinking that the bias tape isn't going to hang on if we don't sew it. So I'm going to sew it real quick and then add our border. Guys, and how quick has this been? How easy was this to make? Minimum effort, maximum reward is my motto when it comes to quilting. I'm always up for a quick, fun project that will look stunning once it's finished. Oh, anyone can do this at any time, really. Uh, you know what? I may as well retire as a quilter because I don't think I can make anything as gorgeous as this. We'll try though, but uh, look at this, guys. It turned out pretty well, if I may say so myself. <laughs> wow, a stained glass quilt indeed. Guys, I had an absolute blast. I hope you did too, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.